What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, it's time for another Dossier Perfumes video. I have from their genderless collection, their original scent profiles. Never tried this one. It is called Sunny Vetiver and Neroli. Okay. And then this one is Floral Lavender. I want to say I've come across this one before. Sounds familiar. I don't know. We're going to check them out, give them a smell, see what's good, see what's okay, see what's subpar, whatever. And then we'll give away a bottle winner's choice at the end. Stay tuned. So for those of you not familiar with Dossier perfumes, they are cleanly sourced. Oils come from France. This is their original. Obviously the orange box and the logo signifies the original presentation. Caveat with them is if you don't like the fragrance, you can try it out. You just return it for a full refund. No questions asked if you don't like it. It does not show its olfactive family is woody and floral, so that's promising. It doesn't show an oil concentration. Let's see how they did on the bubbles in the label. They did good. None. That's always a plus. For those of you new to my dossier videos, I am their biggest critic when it comes to quality control. Uh, they tend to have bubbles in the labels sometimes, but they did a great job here. 50 ml sticker on the bottom and then my favorite part the magnetic caps Let's give it a spray Ooh, earthy and woody what smells like out in the air give that a spray drop drop to the card put that there i don't really get much of a neroli smell for being named sunny vetiver and neroli i don't get a lot of neroli Very earthy and woody, and I would think floral being the third ranked accord here. Woody being number one. This is a very woodsy fragrance. Top notes of bergamot, grapefruit, and rolling. I don't get much of that. Mid notes of orange blossom, geranium, and elemy. So it's not a minty fresh geranium. It's more of an earthy, sweet type of geranium, I'm guessing. Base of Haitian vetiver, patchouli, and cedarwood. So all of that base makes sense. I get all of that base. Even from the start. You get a little bit of orange flower smell, though. So I think the orange blossom is more dominant than the neroli. This is much more masculine than you may think. With all these florals, it does not lean feminine to me at all. I know it's their genderless collection, but... It smells... I think people are going to enjoy this one a lot. Being that... For those of you that saw the last dossier video that I did with the other two originals, this is my favorite of the three. This is the best of their three originals. The last three. Oh, yeah, this is... It's, it's earthy, but not, like, dirty and smoky. It's more woodsy. The earthy component, I would say, is more of a secondary accord, where it's mainly, like, hefty cedar and vetiver. Like a lot of it. A lot of cedar and vetiver here. I'm digging this one. I have to say they did a good job here. Call me crazy. I could be wrong here. But it seems like they're using higher quality raw materials for their originals. It smells like a niche quality fragrance. Like something you would expect from a niche brand. It does. Yeah, I don't really get any citrus. <laughs> I don't. I get an orange blossom smell. I get woods. I get earthy. Pretty simplistic overall. Good quality. I like this one. It's my favorite of the originals that I've tried so far. Not too shabby. Kudos, Dossier. Sunny Vetiver and Neroli. Next, we have Floral Lavender. I want to say I've come across this, but I don't remember exactly what it is. So let's see. It is Ah YSL Libra Eau de Parfum. My wife's favorite fragrance. Of her 90 ml, she has maybe 25 ml left in her bottle. It's her most worn fragrance. She loves it. I love it. On her, one little bubble. They almost did it right, but here you go. Same thing. Let's give it a spray. Ooh, big wide mist. So I remember the first time I came across this when it has to have been a year. 
easy, if not more, since the last time I came across this one. And I compared it to the original, because like I said, she has the original. It's a favorite frame. She wears it all the time. It smells so good around me right now. I'm just going to tell you guys right now, this, this is the one. Any ladies watching this that enters the giveaway, oh, a little bit of altitude leakage leaked on my finger. That's okay. I'm used to it now. Any ladies watching this, pick this one. Any guys watching this that wants to get your lady a great fragrance, pick this one. So what's special about this is it's a fruity floral, but it's a different fruity floral. It's not a youthful and juvenile fruity floral. Because you probably think, you know, younger, girly type of fragrance when you hear fruity floral. The black currant in this fragrance offers a sensual, seductive, fruity tone to an, I believe it's orange blossom jasmine combo. Let's look at the notes. Never, never fails. Uh, top notes of mandarin, neroli, and black currant. There it is. Jasmine, lavender, orange blossom. There you go. Vanilla, amber, and musk. So if I remember correctly, the biggest caveat that I found like the biggest difference between the two was this has a little bit more of a soapy lavender smell than the original. Definitely has a light soapy aromatic feel. It's not overdone, but I want to say it stands out more than the original. I think that was the only thing I could really tell between the two when I compared them side by side. It's so good. It's so good. This is easily one of their five best fragrances. Now, the reason I say that, there's bias here, obviously. It's my wife's, it's a clone of my wife's, a great clone of my wife's favorite fragrance that I have a ton of experience walking in the sillage of. Um, she's a big, like I said, in a 90 ml bottle, picture that if this was a 90 ml bottle, her juice line's about right there. It's got a little less than a third of it. And look, that fragrance, you're going to spend 100 bucks easy even on a tester for a 90 ml tester. So this might be a good way to go. This is fantastic. This is up there with their clone of Armani Code and Polo Blue for me. Because that's my two favorite men's clones from them, from Dossier. This is so good. So good. And it's not so feminine that I don't think I couldn't wear it if I really wanted to, but the vanilla's not overstated, the jasmine's not overdone here. It's pretty well balanced. This is really good. I love how this smells on my wife. She's got the original. So, again, pick whichever one you want to try to win, but if it were me in this giveaway, I'm getting that for her because her bottle's getting low. So, speaking of the giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to TLTG Reviews, and comment down below TLTG and the name of the fragrance that you're interested in entering to win. This is open to continental United States subscribers only, and I'll leave it open for about a week, seven or eight days. Then this is very important because scam profiles pop up trying to sucker you guys in. Um, I will pin the winning comment after about a week, which only I can do. Scam profile can't do that. I will heart the winning comment. Only I can do that. Scam profile can't do that. Then I will reply to the comment asking you to email my personal account so I can get you to do something in the comments to verify that it's you, and we'll set up shipping. Uh, don't be fooled by these Telegram scam profiles and all that good stuff. The easiest way to know if it's me or not, um, it, they don't speak the way I speak, first and foremost, with the way they type messages out, and then secondly, um, you just click the profile. It's not gonna take you to my channel page. It's gonna take you to that make-believe BS profile. So. Uh, once again, make sure to like this video, subscribe to TLTG Reviews, comment down below TLTG and the name of the fragrance you're interested in winning, coming in the United States only, in about a week, I'll pin the winning comment and we'll go from there. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on either, I don't think anybody's really going to be disappointed. These are both pretty damn good. This was a good round this time. But uh, personally, if you like Woody, you're going to want the original. If you want something great for your girl or any ladies watching, I would 100% go after this one. If it's me, I'm probably leaning towards this one, even though it's not even going to be for me. Because like I said, my wife's bottle's running low. But with all that said, good luck to everybody that enters the giveaway. I'll catch you on the next one.